Welcome to Norby and Eckstein's Bass Talk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today we decided to uh, show off. <laughs> <laughs> no, today yeah. we decided to share uh, with you guys um, our, like, Pretty much kind of like our daily drivers. Yeah. You know, our, our bases of preference and mm -hmm. uh, the stuff that, uh, the bases that we have for the particular job, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we're going to show you this video real now of our collection. So if you guys didn't know, both mm -hmm. X and I are bassists here in the Philippines, and uh, we do a little bit of session work as well uh, mm -hmm. on top of our main bands. So sometimes, of course, you know, to do the job properly, you got to have the right tools. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to show you guys some of the basses that we use. Yeah. Yeah. So let's start with you, X. Um, let's cover, like, maybe the music that you do first. Yeah. So with my main band, yeah, so we're called the Brad Pack. Yeah, so we do, uh, well, we play jazz, blues, and rock and roll, mainly. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, if the venue calls for it, yeah, we do some pop stuff, you know, variety stuff, and... Uh, and all that jazz. Anyway, um, yeah, but with session work as well, yeah, uh, basically everything. Yeah, well, except country. But, yeah, <laughs> that, that's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All, right. all right. How about you? I'm, I'm more on the rock side. So uh, mm -hmm. apart from my main band, Overtone, um, which does a lot of alternative and hard rock music, mm -hmm. um, I also do a little bit of session work. Um, right. Um, with with some bands that you know, like you know, like nineties, mm -hmm. big hair music, like say mm -hmm. like Aerosmith and Bon Jovi, those right. kinds of things. And uh, just recently, I've been um, branching out to some jazz blues too. So, mm -hmm. um, so I'm starting to mature. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> level up. Okay, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, um. Let's get started, shall we? Yeah, let's yeah, check yeah, out yeah. the bases. Mm -hmm. You guys want to check out the bases? Yeah. Let's do it. So let's start off with this one, shall we? Yeah. Uh, so first, okay. we got this baby over here. So mm -hmm. this used to be my workhorse. Used to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So this one is uh, an Ibanez GSRM 20B. Wow, that's long. That's, that's a lot of numbers and letters. It's yeah. kind of like my password. Right. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> no, just kidding. So yeah, um, so it's a short scale, uh, 28 and a half. Yeah, 28 okay. and a half okay. inch scale. So yeah, it has 20, 22 frets. Uh, and um, yeah, basically that's it. And you, yeah, very simple uh, PJ configuration. Uh, you got uh, the volume for the precision pickup for the jazz pickup and this is just a tone knob so that's it very simple mm -hmm. yeah already right, got battle scars here <laughs> yeah. yeah you don't see it yeah. but yeah close up so there you go this is what it looks like it's mm -hmm. very light guys mm -hmm. like i think i i don't know si probably like six pounds or something really ish wow. yeah so i've been using this since 2014 i think wow Wow. Yeah. Is this also your oldest bass? 
Uh, no, actually. No? Yeah. Okay. This came okay. second, I think. Okay. Yeah, so but you have your oldest bass here? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Oh, I do, do okay. actually. So, we'll thing is, out. with my basses, I got a short scale, a medium scale, and a long scale. So, we're just going by height. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. yeah, we're going by height. So, this used so, yeah. to be your daily driver? Yeah, used to be. And well, why, yeah. why was it? Why did you prefer this one over all the others? Because it's light. <laughs> All right. That's it. Fair Basically, enough. just yeah. the weight. Fair enough. Yeah, it's easy to carry, and I can last like what three to four sets with this. Mm-hmm. All right. right? So All right. yeah, and I gotta say, I mean, man, this this guy, I, I don't know, um, the low end of this one. Poof, my God, it packs a punch actually. Mm-hmm. So that's what I like about this, and to think everything's stock. Okay, I didn't customize anything none yeah mm-hmm. none of that so yeah so that's nice. it so that's mine very nice okay. very nice okay how about you so let's go to my daily driver then yeah. um okay so this is my daily driver um i know what you guys are thinking oh my goodness that looks like a warwick no it's not <laughs> so a lot of people have said this looks like a warwick a lot some people also say it looks like a um specter there, yeah, yeah. Spectre. Spectre. Um, this is a um, an SX. Um, I forget the model. I don't know the model, but yeah, it's a SX <laughs> Spectre copy, I guess. Yeah. Um, jazz bass humbucker configuration. Mm-hmm. It's got active uh, active preamps, mm-hmm. five string uh, long scale, and I strung this with um, with fifties. These are strung fifties. Wow. Fifty two one thirty five. If I remember correctly, um, this was my daily driver, and same as you, you know, it's yeah. it's really it's the lightest one that I have, mm-hmm. and yeah, so I can go through long sets. Um, the configuration with the with the active EQ kind of makes it a little a little more flexible. Mm-hmm. Plus, twenty four frets. That's why I like it. So, pretty much anything that um, that uh, will be demanded of me will this can handle and mm-hmm. i also tune it in e flat mm-hmm. so that because a lot of the rock bands tune in e flat so yeah yeah that's why i put the 50s on it so that you know kind of to, con- to compensate for the for the for the tuning right yeah so yeah i, I like cool. it it's i don't know much about it i got it back in um i think 2014 also oh yeah. same okay yeah. 13 or 14 something like yeah. that and then since i got it I used it pretty much every day. Nice. Yeah. Nice. There. There you go. Uh, well, we're, we're well. I'm doing it by height, anyways. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Next is the medium scale. This is the the new yeah the the youngest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, all yeah. Right, all right. yeah, the newest one. So when did I get this? Last month, right? Last month. <laughs> About maybe yeah, yeah one yeah, or right? two months ago. Yeah. Something yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. I think it's just last month. That's right. Mm-hmm. So it's a month old, guys. So this one is an Ibanez SRMD. There you go, a mezzo. There, yeah. 200. Man. She remembers the n- models of her business. Wow. It's a mouthful, guys. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> anyway, so this one, oh, unlike the other one, the micro, by the way, it's passive. All right. This one is active. Yeah, nice. so it's got a battery here, like, see? Nine volt battery inside. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> I, I hope, all right. So, yeah, so that's what it looks like. Uh, this one, I think it's, I forget the color, vintage white. There you go, mm. yeah, vintage white color. Um, that's a nice color. It is. It's a really yeah. nice color. Well, actually, at first, okay, believe it or not, I think this was like two years ago, they released the uh, seafoam green one and the cherry red, something like that. Um, I don't know what it is, but I didn't like the quality then mm-hmm. when I tested it out. Mm-hmm. And then when I saw this one, I don't know what it is. Right? Around two months ago. Yeah, I mm-hmm. tested it out two months ago, bought it a month after. <laughs> A silly. month after? Really? Silly me. I thought it was like a week after. Was it? I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. I, I forget. 
Let's just say a month. <laughs> just say. So, <laughs> yeah, again, it's got uh, 22 frets, uh, four string, everything. By the way, all my basses are tuned standard. Um, and I think this one is like gauge 45. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's stock. The other one is gauge 40, by the way, the, the micro one. So, yeah, again, PJ configuration here. Um, so you got the volume knob, you got your bass and boost, no, yeah, bass cut and bass boost. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then treble, uh, boost and cut. And you got your, um, what do you call this? The balancer. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. The balancer. Like a pickup balance. Yeah. Pickup balancer. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Awesome. Right? Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. So this is what I use now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there you go. My um, current workhorse, I okay. guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Yeah. So I guess speaking of current workhorse. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's where I'm going too. So X has got the um, the mezzo. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pick up my my green buddy. All right. Okay. So um, this is this is a mouthful too. This is a, um, oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, I hope I can remember it. This is a um, Fender Deluxe Precision Active Bass made in Mexico. There you go. Um, it's in this nice um, metallic surf green. Mm-hmm. Um, four string for a change. I've always mm-hmm. had five strings. Um, but I decided that, you know, I should learn, I should get used to playing four strings. That's why Mm -hmm. I got this one. This is also the newest one in in my arsenal. Mm -hmm. Um, I got this, uh, earlier this year around February, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's got active electronics and this is the clincher here, guys. 18 volts. 18. Why? I don't know why. But anyway, it's got um, it's got beautiful mm-hmm. Alnico uh, precision pickups here on the neck, mm-hmm. and then it's got this uh, signature Fender noiseless pickup uh, jazz configuration mm-hmm. by the bridge. It's got this um, high mass bridge, mm-hmm. so it gives great tone. I have this strung with um, with forty uh, fives, mm-hmm. um, so that they're just a little more flexible, like like that. And um, this is also tuned to E flat. Nice. Also, yeah, um, mm-hmm. yeah. So this has been my my daily driver since I got it. Um, mm-hmm. um, it's got yeah, uh, active electronics. It's got the active passive switch over here. Mm-hmm. So if you wanna if you want that classic uh, precision tone, you can just turn it off, and everything turns off. All of your active electronics, your EQs. Nice. These knobs are useless when when that switch is off. Yeah. And then. Um, you this is the pickup balance knob Mm -hmm. you can set it all the way over to the precision pickup so that so you get that classic uh, precision tone and Mm -hmm. um, instead of having a tone knob yep they replaced it with the um, with the jazz pickup so if you need a little more uh, brightness yeah you just dial in the uh, the bridge pickup a little bit Mm -hmm. yeah and then of course the volume knob Um, yeah it's man this cuts through the mix like like anything. Oh, yeah. it does. It does. It does. And it's also pretty. Mm-hmm. I I put clip lock um, straps on all of my bases because I'm paranoid. <laughs> and and because I couldn't really um, I couldn't fully let go of the five string. Right. Um, I put a hip shot on it. So um, I hope I can, we can get that. Um, yeah. There you go. Oh, let's turn oh. it on. There. Yeah. There you go. There. I put a hip shot on it. Yeah. Uh, just in, you know, just in case I need that mm-hmm. that low D in our songs because mm-hmm. we do a lot of uh, grunge and alternative and hard rock and stuff like that that mm-hmm. sometimes needs that low D. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my boy. Mm-hmm. This is my green buddy. Nice. I like That's it. pretty. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. It's heavy though. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a low D. Low D. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now. Um, I think we're gonna look at our oldest bases, huh? Yeah, yeah. I guess. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So, I got one more. Well, 
if you guys must know, this is actually my fifth base. The first, wow. yeah. Wow. Because if I didn't sell my bases, I would have like seven in total. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. So the first four, I sold it. So mm -hmm. yeah. So okay. technically, this is the fifth, and then the micro is the sixth. Then yeah, the the mezzo is the seventh. So yeah. So this is again an Ibanez. <laughs> Hi Ibanez. Um, <laughs> wink, wink. Hi. This is an Ibanez SR six hundred. There you All go. Right. right. Very thin body, guy. Come on, you got you got to see yeah. this. Here. Look look how thin Check that is. Check that out. See that? See that one thing I like about Ibanez, you know, they aren't afraid to go modern with their mm -hmm. design. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've I've had an Ergodyne, an Ibanez Ergodyne EDA nine hundred five. Mm -hmm. It was such a uh, radical design, but right. man, it was light. Mm -hmm. It played very well. It sounded really good. Yeah. Know, so, yeah. I actually wanted to buy one of those. <laughs> yeah. 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 But this one. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like it's a balance sleek. between modern and classic because you got the wood finish. Look at this. So yeah. this is walnut flat. There wow. you go. Look how thin that is, guys. See yeah. that? Yeah. So again, this is an active base. So this is where the battery compartment is. It's actually, um, it's weird that they put it in the middle. Cause I don't, yeah. Yeah. Strange design. Unlike the Mezzo, it was here. So it's yeah. fine. But yeah. yeah. This one, um, yeah, it's a bit bothersome because it actually hits <laughs> me here <laughs> so when I play. But yeah. I hope you don't get electrocuted or anything like uh, that. Nah, uh. but at least, you know, you can easily just pop the yeah. battery off, yeah. you know. Unlike the other one, you need like a Phillips screwdriver yes, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so we got that. Um, by the way, I actually put 30-gauge uh, strings on this. 30? Man, that's thin. Thirty ninety. Wow. Funky, ain't it? Wow. Yeah, because the pickups, guys, Bartolini MK1 pickups. Yeah, nice. so I like that. So, okay, let's go to the control, shall we? So we have, of course, uh, the main volume, uh, the balancer mm -hmm. knob. Uh, you got also the bass, uh, bass boost and cut, mid boost cut and treble. Okay. Boost cut. Mm -hmm. And you got a mid frequency switch. So oh, if it's here, it's right. 250 hertz up to 600 hertz. Oh. Yeah. And that determines what this knob does? This, yes. Awesome. It boosts this. Good right? job, Ibanez. Yeah. So, hi, Ibanez. <laughs> so there you go. And <laughs> oh, by the way, unlike the other two, this one has 20. For there, yeah, there you frets. go. There you Guys. go. So yeah. Awesome. Right? Ain't it cool? So yeah. There you go. And I spotted the back. You've got it's a five piece neck. Mm-hmm. Right. That's nice. That's Ain't nice. it cool? So yeah, there you go. So this used to be my workhorse. <laughs> used mm -hmm. to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the fifth. Yeah. All right. My collection. There you go. So that was your old workhorse, huh? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And right now that's your oldest base mm -hmm. that you have in possession. Yep. All right, cool, cool, cool. So um, let's go with my old workhorse too. Um, this is my oldest working base. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily my oldest one, but it's my oldest working base. Yeah. So ha, what year did you get your base? Oh man, I think I got this like in 20, I don't know, 09 I think or 2010, wow. something like that. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man is heavy <coughs> God. okay so this is my oldest working base I have two more mm -hmm. up in the attic that aren't working anymore I plan to restore them right uh, the first one my very first base mm -hmm. was a um, was a Japan Aria Pro Vanguard Ooh. in okay. neon orange mm -hmm. uh, my second one is a um, also a Japan model BC Rich Warlock, which mm -hmm. I'm currently restoring, mm -hmm. thanks to Stranger Things. And now and then this came in third. So yeah. this is my oldest working base. This is a uh, Fender. There you go, Fender USA American Standard. I got this in 1997. Wow. That's when I got this base. 97. 1997. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, 
since then I've done a few modifications. Mm -hmm. You can see all the battle scars, of course. Oh yeah. You know. um, but I've done a few modifications. I added a um, an Audier onboard preamp to nice. um, to add some el um, active electronics, a little bit of control. Uh -huh. So you've got uh, stacked pots. Mm -hmm. um, the bottom one here is your pickup selector. Mm -hmm. uh, top is your mid frequency. Uh, no, mid cut and boost. Sorry. Um, bottom one here is your low cut and boost, and mm -hmm. top is your treble cut and boost. And then you have a three way switch here. Um, it's similar to um, to your Ibanez actually. Yeah. Um, it's got um, it boosts one frequency up here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they are, but it boosts one frequency up here, boosts another frequency down here, and when it's in the middle, your electronics are also off. Your it turns off the active uh, electronics, so it just um, oh yeah, so it's nice. it's it makes it uh, pretty flexible. Mm -hmm. You know, so if I still want the the vintage jazz bass tone, I I can still get that just by right. keeping this uh, this switch in the middle. I see. Yeah, and um, what's really um, nice about this one is if you open it up, mm -hmm. if you open it up, there are little trim pots. Yeah. So you can balance the um, uh, your pickups, the volumes of your pickups, mm -hmm. and there's also this little notch there where um, you put the mid resistor. Right. So you can actually change mm -hmm. the frequencies, uh, the frequency reaction of your mid controls. Oh you know. shoot! So it's, wow. Yeah, it's it's pretty flexible. It's it's very um, it's geek bait, I think. Oh, there. Right. There go, yeah. It, it is geek bait, mm -hmm. and um, this one is strong. Uh, right now, I put some stainless steel forty fives on this forty five okay. to one thirty. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a five string. Yes, just like the um, the SX. The SX. Yeah. Five string. This used to be my workhorse. I used this for a good twenty or so years. You know, mm -hmm. doing gigs. I started when I was like two. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, again, clip lock straps. Yeah. For for super security. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and uh, the thing that I kind of like about, but a lot of uh, jazz purists, jazz bass purists, yeah. don't like about this, it's the headstock. Because this is pretty unique. You know, it's got five in line. Mm-hmm modern tuners unlike usual jazz basses yeah, that's right right unlike the usual jazz basses they have a four plus one and they have either the lollipop or the little clover yeah. leaf thing yeah like that one yeah yeah like mm -hmm. that one yeah mm -hmm. so so i kind of like it but a lot of um jazz bass enthusiasts don't really mm -hmm. like it so i've exactly. seen some um some forums they actually change the um the the tuners the just this uh, yeah yeah i don't know what that's called but that. that but yeah this um it's it's heavy it's really really heavy um after mm -hmm. playing for all that long for that long all those years i right. developed developed some back problems <laughs> oh yeah I, I bet i bet yeah it's really really heavy but man it sounds really good mm -hmm. um adding the year that i added the active electronics right uh, my bandmates immediately noticed the big jump in the tone uh-huh uh -huh. um so yeah and I'm I'm currently starting to use this again. Um, uh -huh. Had everything cleaned up and restored and set up. Right. So I'm trying to get back into this, but you know, okay. maybe for the shorter gigs. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely true. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of the weight, since you showed your jazz bass, yeah, my first bass actually was uh, it's a very very cheap jazz bass. Yeah. All right. So I, I bought that. I think that's 2004. I think. Yeah, that was my very first bass. And then I think the second one was the GSR-200, another Ibanez bass. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then I think the third one was another Ibanez bass. That's a GSR-306. We're talking about heavy basses here because, mm -hmm. yeah, I got a six-string. That's a huge jump from four to six. Mm -hmm. Right? And then I got the Squire Vintage Modified one. Yeah. Which is all so heavy because I have back problems yeah. and, you know, I had a little thing on my shoulder. So, <laughs> yeah, that's when I decided to get this one, the SR600, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's super light. Yeah, so I could also last for like three sets, three or four sets with this yeah. one. Yeah. And I like the design. I mean... Yeah. Um, yeah, I Ibanez has always gone kind of radical with their designs. Um, right. 
trying to trying to be a little more modern. Mm-hmm. Uh, but hey, they sound really good. Yep. Uh, right. They're they're smack in the middle of of a guitar budget, you know. Yeah. Um, that's true. They're not like extreme, like say Gibsons, mm-hmm. but they're not like dirt cheap, like say what are the local ones like Stag? Yeah, like Stag. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or J Craft. Yeah. Those ones, right? Exactly. Ibanez, you know, uh, Ibanez has been around for like ages, mm-hmm. right? So you know you're getting quality. They're not. You know, charging an arm and a leg for their bases. Yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I like them. I like yeah, them. Yeah. So really maybe do. I'll maybe I'll get one, or maybe somebody will give me one. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So speaking of yeah, since you mentioned about the budget, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, with the with a micro, I think I only got that. Well, I got that in the states, so it was I think one hundred ninety dollars. What? A hundred and ninety dollars, right, right. But this one though, the the medium scale. So we're going up, okay. Medium scale. This is like three hundred dollars. All right, from one ninety three hundred. The SR six hundred though. Well, actually, it's um. This one's phased out already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's phased out. Uh, I got that for five hundred dollars. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Right? Budget friendly. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Again, thank you, Ibanez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the cheapest bass here in, in my lineup is, yeah. is the SX. Okay. Um, at the time that I got it, it was about um, is it, w- it was about $300 okay. back in 2014. And right. it was in high demand. Like, mm-hmm. as soon as um, the retailer had it on their shelves, it was already reserved. By the, by the next week, it was gone. Wow. So I got really lucky when I um, when I encountered this bass. I was mm-hmm. actually looking at a um, at a Music Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I wasn't enjoying the Music Man too much. Mm-hmm. Maybe because I was coming from this five string jazz bass, mm-hmm. because they're in the the neck profiles are f- super super different. Right. So I wasn't enjoying it too much. So I was like, okay, let me look at something else. And mm-hmm. the sales guy was like, you got to try this one. Mm-hmm. You know, it's Dirt cheap, yeah. Sounds good, so mm-hmm. you gotta try it. So I was like, "What is this?" And you know, because the brand was SX, mm-hmm. I was like, mm, "I've I've tried SXs before, and right. the their quality control mm-hmm. wasn't great." Yeah. Um, but when I tried this one, I was like, "Yeah, pack it up." You know, I yep. I I just I just took it, and um, and. Some of my bassist friends, when they saw me playing it, they were like, what is that? So, yeah, they did think that it was a Spectre. Yeah. Uh, some thought it was a Warwick. Yep. Um, uh, one of my bassist friends uh, from Razorback, yeah. Marco, um, mm-hmm. he, he actually wanted one at the time that I got it. And right. we started trying to hunt one down. And, yes. You know. So, exactly. yeah, and $300, man. It's, mm-hmm. you know, for, mm-hmm. for that, 24 frets, active electronics, yeah. super light, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I like the neck profile. It's um, it's a C-shaped profile. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's a good nice. one. It's yeah. a good one. I actually wanted to get the four-string version of your bass. <laughs> yeah, and that would have been even cheaper. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, and lighter. Then, um, and then next to that, um, mm-hmm. I, I guess coming uh, going with price. Next to that, the uh, the Fender Jazz Bass American. Yeah. Uh, I got this for seven ninety nine mm-hmm. back in um, ninety seven. Yeah. And um, yeah. That's it. Um, I got it in New Jersey. If you add the uh, the active thingy, mm-hmm. that's two hundred bucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then um, the um, the Mexico Precision Deluxe Active, mm-hmm. yeah, the Mexico Fender. Uh, I got that for nine ninety nine, mm-hmm. um, plus shipping and handling. So I I'm not gonna talk about that. But yeah. I got it in the states um, for nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there were models here, mm-hmm. right? There were models here, there but were. I, I didn't like the color. Oh, I see. It, it was the sunburst one. Oh, which yeah. I found kind of boring. Yep. So you know. Yeah, we're not into sunburst. Green was just more interesting. Yeah. So it yeah. is. Yeah. So nine ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. If only, actually, yeah. That time, since I mentioned about the mezzo, mm-hmm. right? So yeah, two years ago I tested it out, and then they had that exact same color 
Yeah. Mm. As your fender. So, yeah, but then again, I don't know what it is really. I, mm. There's like a change in the sound quality of it. And mm-hmm. then I just like the sound of this one. No, yeah, this that sounds sound good. Way, I don't know what it is. This is good. way better. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe uh, it's a new, I, I don't know if it's a new model or anything, but could yeah, be. yeah, could, could be, be, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there you go. So uh, let us know in the comments below what, what bass would you prefer? <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, we hope you guys enjoyed our little um, our little showcase of bases here. Yeah. Uh, of course, yes, as X mentioned, um, drop a line in, drop us a line in the comments uh, mm-hmm. so we know what you guys think. Yeah, and don't forget to like and share this video, and of course, subscribe to our channel and click on that notification bell so you guys can get updated on our future uploads. Mm-hmm. And yeah. be sure to follow the rest of our social media accounts. Right. You know, they're gonna post them all down there in the description. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, and we hope to see you guys once again here on our channel. But till then, this is Norby. I'm Xteen. And this has been Norby and Xteen's Bass Talk. Yeah. See you guys next time.